All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Max and Howard Drink Beer. I am Max. And I am Howard. Are you sure? Uh, let me check. Mm, yes. I I feel like you did not check accurately, accurately a- but... Accurately? Accurately. A- accurately? Ac- accurately. A- a- the uh, hospital? Yes. Okay. All right, so we got here, because you're not going to say anything, um, I'm going to say something. It's going to be, I, I'm looking at the Southside Blonde, The it's from the Perennial Artisan Ales. Now, I got to tell you, you know, I when, when there is a silver can like this on the uh, Build Your Own Six Pack Rack show, I, I jump at it, because these are the fancy beers, these are the beers that cost a lot of money, these are the ones that I want to get my hands on. You know, so that's what we're drinking right now. We're drinking the Southside Blonde. It's from St. Louis. Is it St. Louis or St. Louis? I mean, it depends what you want to call it. We have we have a girl. She's a longtime fan of the show. That is from Missouri. Missouri. You know, and we'll, we'll have to ask her if it, which one's which. I think it's St. Louis. Like, you know, like, like the King Louis the 14th. I didn't know King Louis the 14th. I met him. Oh, yeah. He decapitated my brother. Astrophysics, That's right. right. That we were astrophysicians. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I've already had a sip of this beer because we were kind of setting up and Max was doing Max things. And uh, I had a sip of this beer. And I got to tell you, you know, blonde ale, it always kind of turns me off a little bit because you're, you're, it's a little bit more mild. There's not a lot of bite as a normal ale would be. You know, and so I always get a little bit nervous. Dude, did I tell you? I think you might have saw, seen it on the Instagram and our social media in general. I tried an iced coffee. What, what, what? Hold on. Uh-huh. We have social media? Yeah. We're on Facebook. Max and Howard drink beer. And I think we're on Instagram. Max and Howard drink beer. And, what, what, uh, what about Twitter? Do we Twitter? Yeah, not really. Do we tweet? Uh, not really. Because there's no reason to be on Twitter. It's just uh, Colin complaining. That's all Twitter is, yeah. It's pretty bad. Speaking of Colin complaining, you know, (laughs) Colin's on his own podcast. He is? his own thing. Yeah. Him and his wife do uh, the, hey, you remember that one time we had kids? They had kids? Yeah, that's what the podcast is called, that one time we had kids. No. No, it's called uh, Things Our Kids Made Us Watch. Okay, okay. Wow, they must be doing that all the time then, huh? All the time. Okay, right on. Well, that's good. I'll have to listen to that sometimes. They are doing I don't, that. I don't listen to that. They them. are doing music. See, now that's something that I listen uh, to. Jer is killing it. Yes. Colin, uh, your beats could use some work, man. Yeah, Seriously. I mean, Come on. Step it up. Jer is killing it. That's why into, she dyed her hair green. Yeah. Get on her level. Look into probably somebody professional to produce. That would probably be the best bet. But uh, Jer, you are killing it. Jer, you're a great um, um, artist. Ar- artiste? Is she Prince? I don't think she's Prince. Her hair's green, though. Yeah, Prince's hair is green, right? I don't think... I I was never friends with Prince. I'm friends with Jera. The finger Prince? No. 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 Not so, that close? So when Jera decides to get rid of her middle name and just become a single word uh, artist, yeah. Jera, then uh, you'll McCormick. know. McCormick. No? So, okay. so check them out. They're doing all sorts of fun stuff. We over here... We're not doing anything. We're we're drinking beer. We're getting wasted on a regular basis. Uh, so so yeah, regular. Hey, happy Friday to everybody. Is it? Uh, it's that time again. I don't know. I don't Max, I feel like I haven't seen you since last week. For God's sakes, I feel like it's been longer than that. Honestly, wow. kind of flies when you're having fun. All right, who's been having fun? It hasn't been me. Okay, I put a new floor in my kitchen. Oh yeah, I seen that. Yeah, it, I had to go through the kitchen to come here. Yeah, so yeah. that that was a fucking and a new step. nightmare. No, the the step is fucking great. That is that is one of the finest achievements in architectural design. That was the first in the step. last century. Yeah, I agree. You know, so I I worked my ass off on that. That is great. That is fantastic. That's why we have a new floor mm-hmm. because I had to fix the step. Mm-hmm. So now we have a new floor. But uh, yeah, so we're hanging out here. We've been drinking all day. So, sucks to be you guys listening to us. We've been drinking all day. No shit. And I got to tell you this. You know, we, we we talk about it probably much too much, but the race was on last night, and I got to watch the race because that's something that I do. First of all, as my lawyer, I want to dictate a letter to you while we're here. 
I'm going to start. Are you okay, ready? I'll take the letter T. All right. Here we go. Dear Hulu. Listen, I like the Hulu Live. Hulu, it's a great thing. It helps me do what I do. But what is the point of having live TV when it cuts out once an hour? That's a lot for a race to cut out once an hour. And, you know, Max and I, we've talked about this off the record. About how it's, you know, bandwidth and internet and, you know... This guy blows that guy in the bathroom stall or whatever it is, however it works. I don't care. If, if you're doing this, if you're doing it this way, you should be able to, you know, keep it going throughout the whole show. Right? I mean, right? Well, I mean, you, you throw a... Obviously, you want to advertise. Yeah. But why take people away? You got the ticker bar that's been a huge part of our lives. <coughs> you could throw it on the bottom. Oh, yeah. You can pop shit on the side. But that's what they do. They do the, uh, you know, they got the race flow, flowing on the other screen. They got the advertisements going on the other screen. That's awesome. That's the way I like it. And they should do that 24-7. You know? But why is my Hulu keep cutting out? And, 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 my, my, and my internet's not bad. It could be better. You know? But, ah, uh, I'm suing Hulu for all that they, all that they have. Put it on record. Sign the letter, get a notary, and let's go. And that's that, the end. We're, we're probably not suing Hulu because it's way too much work. But I mean, I mean, I don't have any money. But yeah, but that's the point. We, Speaking we have to of sue. money, if you guys are up for it and you would like to tolerate us, we would love any donations you give. Wow. You can donate us to, for the next beer we want. Dude, that'd be nice. You could dictate which beer we drink next. If you, if you like to tolerate us while we talk about beers, which we glossed over, we're getting back to this. We have this this South Side Blonde Ale that we are currently partaking. But if you want to dictate, this is your favorite beer. You want to hear us judge it? We'll judge it harshly. Don't worry. L- listen, and that's a good point. I will tell you this: we do have the links pretty much on all our social media, and that includes. Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. We do have that link tree. There is a chance under there where you can buy Max and Howard a beer, you know, and it, it if it's a cent, you know, we appreciate it. And, you know, if it's $6 worth, we'll buy, and, and he's hit the nail on the head, we'll buy whatever beer that you want us to buy, and we'll drink that, we'll try that, and we'll see what it's like, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. You know, and maybe it's good, and maybe it sucks, because there's a lot of beer that sucks, and it's not personal, and sometimes they just aren't that great. Well, I hate to say it, but it is personal, because I have my taste, you have your taste, we don't have the same taste buzz. So a beer true. you may like, I may not like. That's true. You're not an IPA guy, and you're not a coffee guy. I hate coffee. I'm not a coffee guy. There are not many things I hate in the world, but coffee... I'm going to take this bean, I'm going to grind it up, I'm going to dilute it in cough, er, in water, uh, and you're yeah. going to drink it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why would you want something diluted in coffee? Because it's carbonated! <laughs> yeah, so is Mountain Dew, but yeah, it, we're not but... Hicks and we're not Nicks. So. Yeah. Oh, that was good, dude. Write that one down. <laughs> Okay, you know, we uh, he's writing it down. Okay. Um. Yeah, dude, I can just feel my teeth rotting away. Just thinking about all that Mountain Dew, you know, it's not, it's not pretty. You're not saying it right, you gotta enunciate it. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yes. That's the Wawa Tosa way. That's for you, princess, in case you ever decide to turn this on and listen to us. Um, we kind of miss you. Mm, that definitely makes one of us. Anyway. Yeah, that's you. You yeah, kind of right. miss him. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh... God, what were we talking about before that? The Splendale. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? Splendale. Okay. I'm not a fan of Blondales. Uh, they they see, have they have a little bit of that hoppy taste. See, and, and that's know, that's a, and you're not a, and you're not a hops guy. You don't like no. that bitter taste. You like no, sour. No, 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 am I right? No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. You like sour. sour, bitter is different. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And I totally the, understand the the bitter of hops specifically. I can tell you the difference between the bitter of hops to be like, ah, okay, that, that, that's a hoppy beer. No, and don't, no, I've had your IPAs. I've had your double IPAs. The double IPAs, I've been trying more of those. And the thing is, they cancel each other out. 
Right. And like, you know, makes it a lot smoother taste. And you can you, you, you get the hop taste, but you don't get that bitter bite. I had a couple of those uh Wednesday. You know, and they were they were awesome. They were out of this world. Here's the thing. With this beer, you can tell. It's not a mosaic hop. Wow, excuse me. The mosaic hop gives it kind of a smoother taste. It gives right. it less of a bite, you know. But this is a, you know, you can tell there's some kind of hop here to, you know, give it a little bit of bite. I don't like blonde ales by themselves, you know. I like that hoppy extraness to the blonde ale. Um, Gumball Head from Three Floyds does that very well. You know, they do that hoppy flavor. You know, this one is, it, it is good. You know, there's no doubt that it is a little bit more bitter than most hoppy blonde ales, but it gives it that little bit of, you know, flavor to the normally not so, dare I say it, the blonde ale. Well, and that's the problem right there. We know you don't like blondes, Howard. I am more of a brunette guy. Yeah, see? So there Ooh, you go. Redheads, now we're talking. Yeah, we are oh, talking. Oh, yes. Black um, hair. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's why we're friends. Yeah. So, yeah. And we could, hell, I could talk about women all day long. I like to have women I've never had. That's perverted. Can we even say that in 2020? I think we just did. Well, we just did, but can we? Can we? We, get, we did. We, we might get turned off the air. No, we'll just turn into Howard Stern. Uh-huh. He'll he'll support us in all of our times of need. <laughs> no, no, listen, that was all very interesting what you just said. Can you show me your tits? I try to do Howard Stern. I, I mean, I, I feel if, they, if that's not a catchphrase for your life. I mean, I have I have said exactly that. <laughs> I I always liked Howard Stern too. I still like Howard Stern. Listen dude, to him all the time. Dude, he's not bad. No, he's pretty great actually. You he's, know, he's very insightful, very similarly to how we are. We're very insightful, right? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, but he's got Robin there, you know, to kind of counterbalance things. You got that, you know, a little pervert and you got the black woman in the background shaking her head. Uh, hell, that's what I need right now. So, Jera, if you're looking, we are hiring for <laughs> yeah, a woman that, shaking her head. In I've the said I've said that since we started in February that we need Jera and the beer maiden outfit to uh, serve us the beer <laughs> to and judge that you was heavily. Sexist. Yes, to you judge know? you heavily. Right? That's right. That's all we need. Somebody to judge us heavily. That'd be aw- that would be awesome. That would make the show. Jera G baby gives us beer. That'd be great. You know, but. Who is G- spelling us? G- you can't baby. hear boobs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> can't I, hear, I, I can't I, hear the ass. Okay, so I will argue <laughs> that I'm sure you could hear this. You, what, hear, hear what? You could hear boobs. Okay. I'm not yeah, sure, what, be like whole I'm not sure what they sound like. Bow, wow, wow. <laughs> bow, wow, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. How do you know? You don't know what boobs sound like? It sounds like. Did you hear that over the radio? Or Yeah, that, oh. was, that was basic sex noise. Yeah, basic sex noise. That's what boobs sounds like. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Jera, if you're listening, in case you were wondering, that's what If you're, you're not scared like. off by now. <laughs> uh, we do this every Friday, so come on out. It really yeah. isn't. It really isn't that hard, and we're actually, uh, you know, that's another that's another point. I what did you drop? I'm throwing Skittles on the ground. It was a dog. Oh, dude, that was a yellow Skittle too. That's it the was best a one. yellow Skittle. All right, here we go. We got a couple of minutes left. Power rankings. Skittles go. I love the green ones. Okay, all right, I can get behind that. So wait, the lime or the no. green apple? Green apple. Oh, I love green apple candy. <laughs> okay, so. Those those caramel apple pops. Like, yeah, those are good. Like I used to try to scrape the caramel <laughs> off to get to the green apple. Wow. The the sour part. the that that shades of bitter. I like that. But you don't like IPAs. No. Because they're bitter. It's like sour. Uh, okay. 
Okay. A Granny Smith apple bitter is not a hoppy bitter. It also depends on the uh, green apple flavor. I gotta say that too. Like I'll get behind the gra- the uh, the caramel apple pops because those are the right kind of car- uh, a- green apple flavor. Like right. the Skittles, I don't know, man. And they also had a uh, they, w- when that was popular. You remember when that was popular? That was that had to have been just at the turn of the uh, millennium. You know when they switched all the lime stuff to green apple. I I was super upset about that. I can't remember so, what they got rid of from Starburst. I think it was the pink one they got rid of. So so the big thing in my lifetime is all things citrus candy wise. My sister hated. Yeah. Which when you think Skittles, you yep. got your orange, you yep. got your lemon, lemon, you had your your lime. Yep. I got sixty percent plus. Yep. Of her candy. Absolutely. Because she didn't like it. Yep. I was awesome. I was the same way. My, It's funny you say that because my sister was pretty close to the same way. Didn't like the citrus candies. Those were my favorite. My ranking is always yellow, orange, green, purple, red. And actually, purple and red are interchangeable. You know, for me. That's just me. Yeah. And it sounds like yours are pretty close to that. Yeah, I definitely like I said, I like the green. Yep. I love the lime. It was yeah. it was great too. Yep. The only thing that made it better was to lose it to green apple. Okay. You elevated your game. You win. Good job, guys. Way to kill it. You know? Um Grape or strawberry, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Right. Interchangeable. You do you. Those are the candies that everybody like. Yep. So, why not? If I like the other ones, that means you, who doesn't like them, are more likely to give them away. This is why I'm fat. Probably. Because you were that negotiator. I was, too. You know, well, I'll take these candies that you don't like off your hands yep. for you. Yep. Or these uh, sweets. Oh, you don't like those? I'll tell you what. I got this. Mm-hmm. I don't like this. You don't like that? All right. Let's make a deal. Yeah, that's exactly how it works, too. I mean... I did the same thing in Germany. We went oh. there. When we went to Germany, we had two meals a day that were decided for us. Uh-huh. We were responsible for the <coughs> third, but two meals a day were provided. Okay. So we would have traditional German dishes, schnitzel, sauerkraut, all that fun stuff. I got. I got to imagine. I'm not a huge sauerkraut guy, but German sauerkraut's got to be insane. So much better than what we have. I imagine. You know, it's got that pickled flavor here. You no, know, it's not bad, but. But every person that was a part of that was just like, ah, I don't like. This isn't chicken nuggets. I don't want it. the Jesus amount of time Christ. we fucking wasted going to McDonald's. We're in fucking Germany. Wait, I have a question. Was uh, German McDonald's pretty cool? Pretty different? Yeah, they The actually, Royale with cheese? They oh. actually had a decent amount of different things. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing, and we've talked about it before, but uh, soda was not chilled. And it was not carbonated. Oh. It was... Syrup. Basically, we took syrup and we added water to it. Oh. Because your body struggles to break down the carbonation... Okay. And, you know, reheat it for your body to process. Mm-hmm. So the fact that we drink cold drinks, mm-hmm. all of Europe doesn't touch that. And that was kind of the big eye-opening thing. You know, and we've said before, you know, that that trip to Germany, I think, changed my mentality for drinking beer. Yep. Because, well, this is how you drink beer. You drink at room temperature and... As we learned through this process, the the Bavarian beer laws, Mm -hmm. they apply. You know, you drink it like this, you do this, you don't, you don't chill it. And you you find out that, you know, I, I personally thought that the little bit that I had, even their French fries were better there. Really? Because they weren't making them the same way we are. They weren't super deep fried them and they're boiling hot and. Super fucking salty. You know, they were different. They were a healthier variation of a of a fry, if you can consider one. But they were better. 
That makes you know, sense. and I think that's been my big thing since high school, that decline <coughs> in, you know, fast food and what I like for French fries and all of that. You know, even, like I said, even beer. I had how it's supposed to be. We as America, fuck it up. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. It always uh, brings me to that uh, Bob Dylan commercial, the Chrysler commercial. Remember that when they did this, the, do they, it was there were out of this world Chrysler commercials for the Super Bowl, and Bob Bob Dylan said, "Let uh, Germany make your beer, let uh, Dutch make your watch. You know, we'll make your cars." And it was just that those commercials were always so awesome. You know, so that's what I always think of. Yeah, I agree with you. There's a lot of beer. It was fun. You know, we always go back to what we did at the place that we worked at and how we changed the world. The one really fun thing that happened is we got Sprecher Brewery involved with us. We got them talking to us. We got them interested in doing business with us. And one of the things they started to push, what we started to push, is their Oktoberfest. Well, what was cool about Oktoberfest? Number one, we couldn't keep it on the goddamn shelves to save our lives. That's true. You know, people would come in before the orders would come in and say, you got that Oktoberfest? Let's go. You know what's awesome about that stuff? They brewed it to be warm. To have it get cold, it only made the beer taste better to everybody else. Right. You know, so then that's how I would always promote it. I'd say, well, we just got an order of it, but this beer, this per- particular beer it was brewed to make it taste good while it's warm and they say okay let's try it i'm into that and they try it and they say sure enough it's good enough warm but i'll take a cold one please <laughs> you know <laughs> it's little stuff like that and you know you're you're, you're on to something they're like does Heineken? Okay, let me ask you this. You're a big Heineken guy. Mm-hmm. If you keep that, you know, room temperature, does it taste better than when it's cold? So, a big aspect of that is how it was stored. So, right. a lot of places, you go and buy it, they never chill it. Yeah, yeah. It gets delivered to them, through the distributor. Distributor brings it in. You buy it warm. Yep. It's not in a cooler. I can drink it warm. As the lager goes, I can drink it warm. The problem is when you open it, yep. if it got skunky, mm-hmm. I can't drink a skunky beer warm. Oh, okay. You know, Bex has a really nasty habit of being skunky. You know, I, I mean, that's kind of what I always liked about Bex. One, well, you know, that's that big thing, that that green bottle. Yeah, We've it's talked the exact about same it before. thing. You know, it kind of... It kind of builds on that. If you don't properly take care of this beer, you can ruin it. Mm. Now, you remember, I, I was drinking Heineken on tap for a while. When they had it, yep. And I was specifically <laughs> drinking it on tap because you haven't had a chance to fuck this up. Because there's no sunlight that's entering the keg. Right. Yep. The keg, you feel a keg, the keg is going to get chilled, and once it gets chilled, it stays chilled. You don't warm a keg, that's... That's, you know, a sacrilegious sin right there. Yeah. And the way that it was told to us, it's interesting, too, because that was back in the uh, good old days when we were uh, frequently uh, the wings that were wildly buffaloed. Wings wildly buffaloed. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate no, that. That, okay. that was, that was right. eloquent and said. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Um, he, he will not. This is my house. The, he- <laughs> the Heinekens were made specifically for the uh, WWBs. You know, and uh, that was what Max liked about that Heineken. That's why we went there all the time, because you could get that specific beer for cheaper during that happy hour. And that's why we used to do the happy hours all the time, you know, to get that good, cheap Heineken tap beer, you know. And it was cool. Well, and I remember specifically when they took it off tap. Right. It was almost like at that same point I started that diet. You know, I started doing keto. They Heineken was gone. They were done with it. And that's why I think that's when you decided to go that keto route. Yep. When, well, they don't have my beer anymore. Now what? Mm-hmm. You know, and we still went there all the fucking time. That was wild. Ashley wasn't a bad bartender, but Mike. Mike was good. Shit. Mike was a hell of a bartender. I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing well as well. We should uh, stop in and ha- hassle uh, Ashley. And- uh, yeah, that'd be fun. 
You know. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, for sure. It'd feel bad for uh, what's her name over there at what's, fourth. What's on on fourth in Cleveland? I don't she know. was a good looking broad. I don't know who. I don't know her name. R.I.P. In peace. Yeah, that was that was fun. She was funny. It, it, oh, dude, I don't know what it is about me and bartenders. Just something. L O V E. It's just not good, you know. But strippers, fuck you guys. Walk away. That's because strippers <laughs> you know? don't serve you beer. That's right, and they don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> At least not the ones I met. All right, so. Long story short, what do you think of this? Southside Blonde Ale. I'm I'm glad I picked this up. I and like I say, the silver cans mean you hit gold. You know, these are the expensive cans. These are gonna run you, you know, millions of dollars anywhere we go. We got these for a dollar, which is pretty cool. So, um not to say anything about it, I'm gonna give it probably three point five because it's a good it's a good beer. It's a good tasting beer. You know, I like the taste of it. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I'll I'll throw it right there at a three point five as well, which is um, which is really cool because you're not a happy guy, you know. No, so I'm that's... I'm not. It's it's definitely growing on me. I'm sure all the sweets I've been eating do not cater to this. This is not a dessert. Or beer. does it? No. Or does it counteract? You know, who knows? Oh, I'm 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 good with it. It definitely Thank counteracts. You, Saint Louis. I think, but uh, uh, St. Louis, you know. Uh, Southside Blonde. Same, yeah, Southside Blonde. I've never been to Southside, but it is a happy Blonde Ale, so I can only assume that the South Side of St. Louis is happy. I gotta tell ya, um, Branson was a wild place. I bet. It was a good time. And, uh, I mean, my beer is getting low. What about yours? Yeah, my beer is also getting low. So, uh, okay, on that note. I think that I think that'll do her. You think that will do her? I, I think mean, so. I mean, you know, we could we could talk about how the the can. We should we describe the can for Steve? Um, it's blonde, and it's got squares. It's a it's a silver can with a yellow label. Yeah, and it tastes like beer. We we that really, was a pretty good Steve impersonation. We really, I gotta give you that. We really badly needed to make all our sound effects and our song. That was what I was gonna bring up. God. Damn it! That's going to have to be the next one. Okay, you talked me into it. But on that note, uh, my beer is getting low, Howard, so that means it is about that time. We want to thank everybody for listening to us and tolerating us, especially all our friends at 4th and Long. Yeah. Yeah, see you you later. Look at that. Free advertisement. We've been been getting wasted over there lately. Because, you know, no free ads. That's right. But we'll give you guys one because you're doing all right. Well, you do right by us. That's all that matters. So we appreciate everybody for uh, taking the time to listen to us. On behalf of Howard, I am Max. And And also on behalf of Howard, I am Howard. And this has been Max and Howard Drink Beer. That's new. I like that. Cheers. Cheers. That was a really bad clink. That's okay.